Glenn with Hustler Hacks here, and these are the top 10 Amazon FBA selling tips for newbies in 2016. I want you guys to go out there and crush it on FBA. So let's get started with the top 10, and number 10, practice makes perfect. Now you have the Amazon Seller app, you've already signed up, we've already gotten that far. Go around your house, find things with UPC, scan them, and I just want you to play around uh, with the numbers. What would your profit look like? How much can you spend on a certain item? Just play around with the app because practice makes perfect. So when you're out there at stores or thrift stores, you find an item you already know what to do and what your profit margins look like. Number nine, I want you to compile a list of stores. They could be retail stores, thrift stores, pawn shops, even swap meets, anywhere where you can source and find stuff to make money. I want you to write them all down. You can even map them all out. So when you're out there driving, you can hit a certain part of town. You're not wasting gas. And just be efficient when you're out there sourcing. Number eight, I want you to understand the sales rank. So when you scan an item, they give you a number. Where does this item rank out of all the items in that certain category? Obviously, um, the lower the number, the better the rank, which means it will sell faster. So obviously if it's in top 100 in that certain category, it's a low number, it will sell fast. But I want you to pay attention to sales rank because some people think that they could just pick up any item and as long as it has some kind of rank that it's gonna sell, things are gonna take longer than others. So I want you to be aware of that and understand the sales rank. Number seven, be patient and start off slow. Maybe you want to sell new items first, just a couple of new items, maybe low risk items from thrift stores. Um, I wouldn't start off by selling things that are going to take a lot of packaging or maintenance, like a stereo system, you know, a Sony stereo system. Start off slow, start off with small items, um, things that you're not going to lose a bunch of money on, low risk, and things that are not going to require a bunch of packaging right off the bat. Number six, please know that you will spend money. It's going to take money to make money, and if you're scared to spend it or you're scared to risk some stuff, then FBA probably isn't the game for you. Actually, reselling in general may not be the game for you because you will have to spend a good amount of money. Now, it might take time to kind of build that capital up, but please know you will spend some money. Number five, I want you to get your packing supplies ready because you will be shipping out stuff, especially UPS, and if you don't have any boxes, you don't have any tape, you don't have a scale, then it's gonna be very, very difficult. So these are things that you will need right off the bat. Boxes, you can get those at Walmart. Um, they're very cheap or you can go out there and source boxes. Um, some people do the dumpster uh, diving thing. Some people go to stores and see if they can get some boxes. Whatever you can do, you will need boxes. You will need some packaging tape. Um, I would recommend a heavy duty scale. Some poly bags with the warning labels. You can get those on eBay as well. Just make sure you're well equipped with all the shipping supplies you need to make that first shipment. Number four, please educate yourself on Amazon seller fees. Now they do have the um, subscription that's like $39.99 a month. Maybe that's going a little bit too hard for you if you're a beginner and you just want to get things um, started, get the ball rolling. So you could do the 99 cents per item, but you're still going to have a referral fee variable fee, shipping fee, and there's different fees that come with Amazon FBA, but that's all part of the game. And if you know how to manage fees and you're well educated on fees, you're gonna make a ton of money. All right, here's the top three. Number three, please make sure that you are actually making money. Make sure that uh, you know the profit is actually coming in. Um, I've seen it a lot where some people, they go hard on FBA, and then they're selling a bunch of items. Hey, check out uh, how, my, how many uh, items I sold this month. Check out how much money I sold this month. Okay, you sold that, but how much was actual profit? That's what's really gonna matter in this game. Um, if you're just selling stuff and your profit is very minimal or you're not even making money at all because you didn't think about the fees, you didn't think about how much money you were spending on shipping or sales tax, or maybe you got some, uh, tax exclusions or stuff like that. You know, there's different ways to play it, but if you're not making any money, then why are we even doing this? Number two, please know your payment dates. 
And you're going to need to know this because if you're expecting money to come in at a certain time of the month uh, of your checks or whatever's coming in there uh, from Amazon and it's not there, or maybe you forgot to update your information, maybe you expected it to come the first of the month and the 15th of the month, you know, the, the two checks per month and it really it's different dates it could throw your capital off it could throw the money off money that you're expecting maybe money that you wanted to uh, use to pay bills it could really throw things off if you don't know when amazon is going to pay you so please be aware of that and the number one tip for newbies if you're starting off selling right now then this is the perfect time to get ready to get prepared to go hard in fourth quarter now when i was First selling on Amazon, and I was like, hey, what's this fourth quarter stuff? They tell me it gets kind of out of control uh, during fourth quarter, Christmas time, etc. And I know I could have gone even harder um, once December rolled around. I was kind of like a little hesitant once December went because I wasn't too sure if like, hey, are these going to get shipped out on time and all this stuff. Um, I think my sales for the first time I actually sold an FBA fourth quarter, I think I sold like $10,000 during that time. And even then, I probably could have done even better. I just don't want it to be where you know, you're a newbie, you get a little bit scared, a little bit timid to risk money. The money is there for you to make uh, during fourth quarter. Do not be scared and don't have that scared money because it will not make you any type of profit if your little capital is just sitting there. Spend that money and make that money during fourth quarter. I guarantee you the rewards will pay off. So that's my top 10 selling tips for newbies of 2016. I really hope you like the uh, tips. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, hustlerhacks1 at gmail.com. You can also take a look at my website at hustlerhacks.com. Now, if you want to make money, you already know, go out and get it.